Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video that's really going to help get you guys inspired to create your next short film. And I thought what better subject than to talk about something that I've done on the channel several times and that's creating a film all by myself or creating a one man short film. Creative sparks can hit us when we least expect it and it's in those moments that we sometimes come up with our most raw and inventive ideas. Sometimes you just need to get out there and start shooting and you don't want to wait around trying to find collaborators and people that you have to convey your ideas to. Sometimes you alone know what's best for the film and you make the best director and actor for that film. Making a short film or any film for that matter by yourself is a challenge and it comes with limitations, but it's not impossible. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know that I've created several short films completely by myself for this channel. And that entails coming up with the ideas, writing the script, if there even was one, setting up the lights, the camera, getting everything in focus, and acting in the film as well. And of course, doing all the post-production work afterwards. So here is my updated list of tips for making a short film all by yourself. Tip number one, keep your story simple. Just like with any film that you're making independently, you're going to need to take stock of your resources and plan your story and ideas around those resources. Take stock of any locations, gear that you're going to be able to use, your one-man cast and crew, that's you. When formulating your idea, keep in mind that you're not going to be having very many dialogue scenes because you're not going to have any other actors in the film unless you double yourself, more on that later. You're most likely not going to be able to pull off any fancy camera movements because the camera is going to be on a tripod and you're going to be filming yourself unless you're doing a point of view type camera angle. And for the most part, the camera is going to be static unless you add in movement in post-production, which you can do easily with position keyframes. And you can also use some presets, which I'll talk about later. So right off the bat, you know that these limitations are going to limit your dialogue scenes, and you're most likely not gonna be having a lot of fancy action scenes and movement scenes. Try to plan out your scenes to be simple and beautiful. Think of each framing as a painting. Make them all interesting to the eye on their own merit. If you keep this in mind when framing your scenes, you'll go a long way into making a beautiful short film. And like I said earlier, being that you're filming this thing by yourself, you're probably going to want to use the minimal gear available. That means your camera and a tripod, something to record audio on, a couple of lights, and that's pretty much it. You don't want to get bogged down and frustrated having to move a ton of gear around in between shots, seeing as that you're going to be doing all of the work by yourself. Tip number two is to plan everything out in advance. Once you have your story idea and you know what gear, locations you're going to be using, sit down and plan out everything that's going to be in the film shot by shot. You may not need to write a script, seeing as how you're not going to have a lot of fancy dialogue going on, but sit down and write out a bullet list of every shot that you want to capture and the general flow of the story. I find that when making a short film by myself that's really simple, that storyboards really come in handy for helping me organize my ideas and helping me to remember what shots I need to get. This might also go a long way in helping you get that beautiful framing that we were talking about earlier. The more planning you do ahead of time, hopefully the less frustrated you will get when filming this short film. And trust me, filming a short film by yourself can get frustrating. You need to do everything you can to minimize your frustrations. The last thing that you wanna do is get angry and give up. Tip three is staying in focus. One of the most difficult things for me when making a film by myself is making sure that my shots are in frame correctly and everything is in focus. Seeing as how you're going to be on both sides of the camera, it's difficult to make sure everything is in focus and in frame when you can't be back there directing your actors around and getting them into position. Depending on what gear you have available to you, this step could either be a breeze or a pain in the butt. If you are lucky enough to have a wireless monitor or a camera that can stream its output to your cell phone, for instance, this might be a little easier for you. But if you're shooting on your phone, you may have to get a bit creative to make sure everything is in focus and in frame. You can try to use some sort of stand-in to help you get focus. In the past, I've used a mask taped to a stand and placed it in the spot where I was wanting to try and film to help me figure out the depth the angles, the framing, and to help get focus on my subject. After getting focus on the mask, I would tape the floor where the stand was, and it would give me a close approximation about where I needed to be in the frame. 
anything that you can place in the frame that has the appropriate depth and height as your subject will help you get focus in your shots. Tip number four is focus on good audio. Audio is always one of the most important aspects of a film and that is no different here. Always record any dialogue on an external recorder with a boom mic if you can and set the boom mic overhead to capture any lines that you speak or if you don't have access to that, try to use a lav mic and have it concealed so it's not showing up on camera. If you can't use an external recorder for some reason, try using a high quality external mic like the Rode VideoMic Pro attached to the top of your camera. That way you're getting a little bit better audio capture. And if you're shooting on your phone, try to invest in something like the Rode VideoMic Go. With an adapter, you can capture audio to your phone, improve your audio capture, and it's lightweight and easy to move around. I focus and rely heavily on sound effects when I make a short film, and I usually replace all of the sound effects that are captured in camera, like footsteps, doors opening, stuff like that. I usually replace those with royalty-free sound effects from an online provider like Epidemic Sound. Tip number five is adding motion in post. Since most of your shots are going to be on a tripod and static, you're going to want to add motion in post-production to give your shots some variety and keep everything from being so stagnant. Using positional keyframes, you can zoom in, pan left to right, and stuff like that very simply and give your shots a little bit of life. And you can also use handheld camera presets, which are going to give the effect that someone is holding the camera. These look great and they look really believable. I use them all the time. Adding motion like this is going to make it look like you actually had a crew helping you with the film. And kind of on that same note, if you have access to a drone, you can use a drone to get some really awesome aerial shots. And if you have a drone that's equipped with a follow feature, you can have the drone follow you in the shot and get some really interesting shots for your short film. And my final tip is to get really creative. Since you're making this short film all by yourself, you're going to have to get really creative to help it stand out from the crowd. Focus on using really interesting locations, really in-depth characters, and if you have to, rely on VFX to bring your story to life. For instance, you can lock down your camera and double yourself in the frame to create two characters. You can play the protagonist and the antagonist in the film. Just because your story and scope are really simple, don't let that detract you from coming up with really inventive ideas that help elevate your film to the next level. I'd like to challenge you to create a short film all by yourself. Push yourself and come up with something really special. If you happen to come up with something, please post a link to it in the comments below so we can all check it out. I know that the community, including myself, would love to see your work. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.